All right. So we'll go through the platform details here. Uh, risk disclaimer. Trading equities and futures involves substantial risk of loss. is not suitable for all investors. Past performance is not indicative of future results. Uh, for you uh, new uh, traders, uh, new to Bookmap, that is, uh, find out more information here at bookmap.com. Become a member there. There's a free trial, and uh, then you'll have access to a lot of the uh, resources. Uh, and then um, reach out to us at support at bookmap.com. Okay, so uh, here's bookmap.com. Click on explore. And I would recommend uh, watching these first three videos here. They're very short. Uh, just gives you an overview of what bookmap is. And then let's click here to um, connectivity. Uh, you will need... Um, uh, if you're going to use Bookmap, you will need a data provider, uh, and this is how Bookmap connects. Okay, with Stage five, CQG, Rhythmic, Gain Capital, through the API in NinjaTrader, API in uh, TT Trader or Trading Technologies, also in the API in Interactive Brokers. Okay, all the rest here, are, we're just like a platform, like anyone else, not through any API, just through the data feed. Okay. We also have uh, uh, access to U.S. equities through uh, uh, Dev Experts and, uh, and NASDAQ. So scroll down a little bit further. Here's where you can find Bookmap. Uh, there's only two versions, the basic and advanced, 49 per month, 99 per month. They're billed quarterly. Uh, now, the other two versions, as you see over here, uh, they include that DX feed. Now, it's for U.S. equities only, and it's a package deal. Okay, so... Uh, if you're interested in that, then go for the package deal. You can still get DX feed uh, for U.S. equities for the, the basic and advanced over here. It just won't be packaged. Okay. The difference between the basic and advanced is the ability to trade right from the chart uh, in Bookmap and also the um, uh, add-ons here. Okay. Large lot tracker, volume and balance, book and balance, uh, iceberg detector. So these are... Uh, indicator add-ons uh, that are more, much more geared for uh, order flow, uh, not your traditional uh, type of uh, type of indicator add-ons. Okay, so Bookmap is a platform; it is not uh, some sort of indicator or derivative of price. Some of these are that derivative of uh, of price, time, and volume, or you know something else. All right. Um, <clears throat> All right, so those are the two uh, different versions. Uh, you get a 14-day trial period uh, for both of them, uh, or <laughs> you choose one and uh, and you'll get that 14-day trial period. Okay, so you can follow us uh, on Twitter here uh, as well, and uh, then uh, you can uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel uh, and any uh, updated or new videos they'll be uh, uploaded here and you'll have access to all of those so for those of you who are new I'd recommend going through the features and components here uh, watch the two-minute intro videos here uh, and then um, once you have an understanding of what bookmap is uh, mechanically uh, what the software package is uh, then uh, watch just a few of these order flow video snippets it's really uh, how uh, to use Bookmap, uh, what Bookmap is is showing uh, you how it is um, uh, its its uh, ability here to uh, transparently see uh, a lot of the uh, market activity, uh, and then how to start use, utilizing that, how to spot it, and then how to start utilizing it. Okay, so in fact, we have two different webinars. Uh, this webinar that you're in right now is. Uh, uh, for everybody it's open to all okay the uh, webinar that we'll have in about uh, 25 minutes is for uh, bookmap users okay those that are in trial or those that are current customers and we go through much more um, in, in in those uh, webinars we go through live order flow uh, advanced analysis okay and the reason is uh, for those of you who are new here and you want to get a feel for what Bookmap is, just the software, and, and we're going to go through a little bit of the order flow uh, in the live market, but um, uh, a little bit later. Okay, we want to just um, get through uh, what Bookmap is showing you um, and some of the capabilities and features and components. 
Okay, you can also see we have an educational course, uh, and then uh, all of the uh, recorded webinars are here for the platform details. Okay, so let's jump into Bookmap, and uh, we're uh, we just had the. Uh, um, as you can see here, some volatility in oil. We had the inventories uh, just released here at 10:30, uh, and you can see the um, uh, back back and forth here. Now I'll, I'll cover this a little bit later here, uh, but uh, I'll just say in general, uh, this is the kind of transparency you're going to see in Bookmap. Right? This is this is an economic uh, release uh, at a specific time. Look where the liquidity is. As it's really, you know, nothing uh, uh, too much uh, of a surprise. Uh, liquidity here at 48, the figure at 48. Look at the liquidity. That's on the offer. Look at the, where the liquidity is here uh, on the bid. Okay, actually, it's a little higher at 47.55, but also at the half number here at 47.50. Look where uh, the the price went. Okay, on both sides, right to it right to the liquidity. This is how the markets operate. Uh, they need liquidity to trade uh, and uh, and they search for it, okay? Uh, during these volatile periods, uh, there is a lack of liquidity and the market goes to exactly where that liquidity is because that's where it can trade. Okay? And we see a really nice example of it here, okay? On both sides. So uh, uh, pretty pretty picture here, uh, and um, I'll, I'll get more into the uh, the details of this a little bit later. But let's start to go through just the basics here and what you're looking at in Bookmap. Now we have an indicator panel here, uh, and uh, but I'm going to close that, and we're just going to go through the basics. Okay, so let me start here by putting up a candlestick chart because most of us are very familiar with that. And I'm going to take off all of these other layers of data. Okay, and let's zoom out a little bit. Okay, what are we looking at now uh, here in Bookmap? We're looking at a five-minute candlestick chart. Okay, between each vertical dotted line here uh, is five minutes of data. I'm sorry, 15 minutes of data, and then each candlestick is uh, is five minutes. Okay, so one, two, three, that's 15 minutes of data, and there you go. Uh, so um, now, since we're all uh, very familiar with the candlestick, it's open, high, low, close, and you can see you start to understand uh, buying pressure with wicks or, you know, speed with some of the uh, the bodies, uh, et cetera. Now, at best, uh, it's, it's really kind of uh, mysterious. Uh, to understand, uh, and and uh, it, you know, it's kind of an art form to uh, to read some of these candles. We're making de uh, financial decisions based on open, high, low, close uh, of a, of a, a five-minute period, and that's it. Okay, we we really don't have a lot of data to to go on. This is um, uh, this is a problem with candlestick charts. And this is where Bookmap solves that issue. So. Uh, we're going to show you exactly where the volume uh, traded, or where it took place, and then we're going to show you the auction that I was showing you earlier, up at 48, and then that 47.50 here. Okay, so let's uh, let's start to add on some of the uh, uh, a little bit more information. Okay, now all I'm adding on now is on top of the uh, or behind the candlestick chart here uh, is the um, uh, the historical best bid and offer. That's it, okay? Uh, just best bid and offer. Uh, the historical best offer is red, uh, and the historical best bid is green, okay? So we're already getting a little more information that the candlestick chart is lacking, okay? We're starting to see within some of these areas uh, some, uh, um, some structure, some microstructure in price, this little back and forth here. Okay, which is lacking in the candlestick chart, okay. and that's good. Uh, we're going to now put volume on here because the candlestick chart doesn't show us the volume. We see a volume in a subchart here, uh, and that's good. It's helpful, but we don't know where the volume took place on the candlestick, uh, what type of volume it was. Was it aggressive selling or was it aggressive buying? And that's going to give a lot of insight. 
Uh, there's going to be a lot of trap traders in some of these areas, and you'll understand that by looking at the traded volume. Uh, and then uh, we want to know how much, uh, you know, and we'll look at the size of the uh, volume dots here that I'm going to turn on. Okay, so let's turn on the volume dots. Okay, now we have an understanding of where the volume took place. Okay, so fundamental release here, economic release. Uh, very little traded on the way up. Let's just look at this. Okay, spreads widen out, and look look where uh, first trade that uh, I have uh, uh, took place uh, right around here, uh, and then here, uh, and uh, it's just aggressive buying. Uh, who knows where they were? You know, I mean, they're getting filled here, but you know, they they click the um, uh, you know the buy button down here, and you know they're going to get they're going to have price move against them. They're going to be paying big spreads. Um, but um, uh, anyway, because there's no liquidity, people are pulling liquidity. All right. Okay. So uh, now we have uh, uh, the understanding and let's, let's look at, um, uh, for example, this little area here. Okay. Uh, and um, now this is going to be kind of wild to, uh, to follow here, but uh, um, you know, we, we see the uh, the aggressive move down here. Look at all the selling here. Okay, the uh, the red is selling, the green is buying. Let me zoom into this area and show you exactly what I mean. Okay, because as I zoom in, note how uh, we are starting to pull apart the, uh, the not only the timeline, but then we're starting to see the details in the trading activity. Okay, so that one big dot that was a pie display like this right here uh, is uh, is now broken into um, every single element. Okay, we'll continue. I'll show you what I mean. We'll zoom in here and we will watch and we will see how every single, uh, um, we're down at millisecond level here and we can continue further. We can go to nanosecond level if we want. Okay, and we can see uh, now we're at that microsecond level and we can continue on. Right, uh, and uh, now we're down at nanosecond level. Okay, so uh, anyway, you can see that uh, uh, you it's basically unlimited zoom, uh, and we can see this kind of selling activity here that took place on the historical uh, best bid. Okay, this the the um, uh, red dot is an aggressive market sell. Someone hit the market sell button. They they paid up the spread. Uh, they crossed the um, uh, the spread here paid up uh, and they took liquidity off of the best bid. Okay, and that's an aggressive sell. Now, here's your aggressive buying over here. Okay, it's a green dot. They paid up the spread, they took liquidity off of the best offer, and a green dot and transaction uh, occurred. Uh, Nadim, let's see here. Do I need a platform to run this like Ninja? No, we are a platform, you just need a, a, a data provider. Okay. Um, good, good morning, Darcy. Um, okay, so uh, uh, good to see you in here, Darcy. I, I like that uh, uh, you know uh, uh, you are a, a current Bookmap user, but uh, you're coming to these to ask questions uh, regarding the um, uh, the platform. So that, that's, that's that's excellent. Uh, um, so. Uh, <clears throat> and then and then we'll go through uh, the advanced analysis uh, in the uh, webinar coming up in about 15 minutes. Okay. Um, let's see. Nadim, let me go through this. All right. So, uh, again, the um, just click on connectivity here. Okay. And this is how you connect a book map. All right. So uh, you can you can see the um, uh, you just need a, a connection. So uh, you know I don't know who your broker is. Uh, ask if they have Rhythmic CQG. Uh, if you're with uh, Stage Five Trading, they they are a brokerage. Uh, then uh, they offer all of those as well. You can get CQG, you can get Rhythmic, or you can get uh, Gain Capital as well. Or I, I believe IQ Feed too. So um, you know talk to your broker uh, and see how you're connecting. Uh, if you are uh, with another broker, uh, you know, maybe they use uh, only uh, transact data, okay? So it's really, really up to you, um, but uh, that's what you need. Okay, so you're through Thinkorswim. Unfortunately, we do not connect to through uh, Thinkorswim, okay? Uh, so uh, uh, you will need uh, 
a, you know, a, a, a data, a data provider. Uh, probably, uh, I, you know, I, I would recommend uh, doing a demo, uh, maybe with a broker, uh, and then, um, uh, you know, call up and uh, uh, see. Uh, you, you can reach out, for example, to Stage Five and just uh, uh, let them know that uh, you, you'd like a demo, uh, and um, uh, you know, and then just take it from there. Okay. You're welcome. So that's why we offer that 14-day trial period, right? So uh, you know, it's free. Uh, you can check it out uh, and uh, and see if this is something that works for you. All right. Uh, let's see here. Lots of questions. Good. Um, so uh, let me uh, let me continue on with the questions here since uh, uh, we're kind of on a roll. Um, let's see. Yeah, uh, Darcy, you will need uh, you will need six point one um, if you want to use the DX feed. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I, I I understand what you're asking or saying there, Francisco. Uh, that you see these uh, trapped uh, trap traders here and these uh, with this volatility. Uh, Scott, good morning, Scott. Um, Yeah, absolutely. You, you need a data provider. We're, we're we're not a we're not a brokerage. We're we're not a, a data provider. We're we're just a, a a platform. We're a software platform, right? Um, but uh, you're you're using um, uh, Rhythmic, aren't you? I mean, we we connected you uh, we connected you uh, last night. Yeah, yeah. No, you're all set. So you already have your data provider. Okay. Uh, let's see here. Continue on. Uh, Market Maker, one, um, I'm going to uh, ask you to um, uh, please uh, reach out to us at support at bookmap.com uh, regarding your, your requests there. Okay. Happy Happy to talk to you about that. All right. Uh, does Interactor Brokers give you futures and, and stock data? It does give you futures data, Glenn, uh, but it will not. Um, uh, the the uh, equities will it, Bookmap will not connect to the equities. Okay, it only connects. Uh, we only connect equities here right now, currently, um, with um, uh, the Dev Experts uh, DX feed. Okay, and what you're getting there is NASDAQ total view and NASDAQ last sale. Okay, and it, it covers basically all the equities. Um, so, uh, and, and the, the feed is excellent. It is, uh, you know, I, I can show it to you, um, uh, but uh, it is, uh, you know, it, here, let me, let me show you the quality uh, since uh, um, Darcy was asking uh, as well. Uh, let's take a look at, uh, I will take a look at Apple, let's say. All right, so um, uh, here in Apple, uh, look at the uh, the book here. Uh, we have complete depth of market. All of this, all of this here is not, I mean, this is your level two data here, but it's all live, right? This is a really nice advantage. Uh, it's also, uh, uh, you know, very, very accurate. Uh, and um, uh, it is... Uh, uh, yeah, we haven't had any problems whatsoever. It's been been fantastic. Look at how you know have with total depth. Look how you can see here uh, liquidity areas that act as targets. Okay, that longer term liquidity. As soon as 9:30 open, you can see the big traders providing liquidity here. Okay, and that's where you can see the market <laughs> pinged right to those areas. Uh, so uh, it's really insightful stuff to see with the equities. Uh, I, I really like it. Um, anyway, let me, um, you know, uh, head back here and um, I get a, a little more into, we're still just trying to cover the uh, the volume here, uh, but um, uh, I haven't gotten to the liquidity yet. And then I wanted to try to squeeze in that uh, economic release at 1030 in oil. Um, uh, but uh, you got to finish up here with your questions. Let's see. Um, 
a person can know. Yeah, Scott. So, for example, uh, Scott's, uh, um, uh, you know, saying that, uh, uh, you know, someone can, you can contact uh, uh, someone like AMP or uh, S5 or um, uh, whomever uh, and open an account for $500 uh, and then, and then uh, uh, use that as your data feed. Uh, and, and you can, uh, uh, you can all, you can trade through them or, uh, you know, maybe just uh, you, you want to use that as your as your uh, data feed, uh, and then uh, you you still want to keep money uh, or some of your money at uh, uh, Thinkorswim and trade through there. All right, so that's a possibility. Other possibilities is just is just get a data feed. Uh, you know, call up Rhythmic, uh, call up CQG, uh, or uh, you know, another one is um, IQ feed. Uh, you you can get that. Uh, they're just, they don't they're not a broker at all. They're just a data provider. Uh, IQ feed. Okay. Um, let's see. Could you explain front running, iceberg or spoofing, other price manipulations? Um, yes, absolutely. No, Darcy, if you're using CQG, you're fine. Uh, no, no issues. You, you, with DX feed, uh, you'll have multiple connectivity. Okay, you'll you'll like like I am right now. Okay, I'm connected to Rhythmic for futures, as you can see here, and then I'm connected to uh, DX feed, uh, and you can see my connections here, right? So I have multiple connectivity. I have Rhythmic, and I also have DX feed. Okay. All right. Good. Okay, I think I covered all the questions there, except for market makers uh, regarding. Um, uh, all the front running, spoofing, etc. Okay, that's a little more in depth. Um, uh, happy to go through it. We go through it in the advanced, uh, uh, you know, analysis webinar uh, every day, uh, showing all that stuff. So let me try to get to that market maker. Let me start here with just the the basics, though, and then let's move on. Okay, so the volume. Uh, we can see the volume dots now, just like a footprint chart. You can understand where the volume took place, uh, how much, what type. Uh, but the, the beauty here is that it's not aggregated. Um, you can see the microstructure. That, this is what you're going to miss with your footprint chart. Okay, it's just going to go back and forth and aggregate uh, within a, a time period or, a, you know, a candle rotation or, you know, something like that. You're going to miss all the structure. Okay, this is a really big advantage because, look, uh, this is what we cover in the advanced webinar. Look at the structure here. Look how this, this area right here, let me draw a line, uh, is broken. Okay. And once that is broken, look where we've been testing and rejecting and, um, uh, you know, so far we're trading above all of this area here. Okay, this is your trap volume down here. Okay, we continue to come down into these areas, but we we reject. All right, so you're getting a lot of insight there. All right, um, so that's the traded volume. Now let's move on to the auction part. Okay, so. Uh, you know this kind of level of, of, of insight with the volume that alone is is fantastic but now we're going to show you the the other uh, side of order flow and that is the intent to trade in the auction okay now usually the way we do that is through the dome okay and these columns over here these are are the um, this is the dome column right here okay the cob column it stands for current order book okay uh, so uh, in this window here, this is also current market, okay? It's just the graphical representation of the current market. So you, you see here, best bid and offer currently. Uh, last traded volume is this number. Uh, and then you see best bid and offer here in the current order book column, okay? And then here is our depth on the, uh, on the offer and our depth on the bid. These are traders uh, lining up uh, with limit orders providing liquidity at these price levels. All right. So now these numbers, you can see that they're changing all the time. Okay. They're adding and pulling liquidity. All right. Uh, and this is, it's really insightful for a current in the current market to see these areas. You can see the, uh, the liquidity. Wow. Nice, nice move to the upside there. Um, okay. So, I mean, you know, these guys here are going to be, they're going to be covering, right? Where are they going to be covering? Probably above some of these swings. And uh, there we go. 
uh, I would look for a retest of uh, up in this swing uh, as well. And uh, maybe we're going to uh, charge up to uh, 48 as well. Anyway, let me uh, uh, continue on here. Knowing the liquidity is um, uh, an excellent uh, uh, aspect here uh, in a current order book. It, it's really good to target some of these areas and understand uh, where traders are lining up to trade. Because as we saw earlier, uh, that's exactly where we go is where the liquidity is. So we want to we want to understand that in the order book. Now the problem with the uh, uh, with a dome uh, is that once these numbers change, that data is lost. It's not recorded. Okay, so that's a problem. Now you're going to have to remember those areas. Uh, you're going to have to remember uh, what about the areas around it. Uh, were they adding and pulling? How are they behaving in front of? And this gets to your question, uh, market maker. Uh, the areas in front of the uh, high liquidity there okay were they front running it uh, were they starting to add in before it trying to get in uh, before these guys that shows a, a aggressive action okay in the in the auction uh, and um, it can be really insightful now uh, let's turn on the heat map because this is where bookmap solves that issue of uh, recording the data okay so that what we're showing here now is the graphical representation of high liquidity in the limit order book. Okay, so up here, 173 contracts. Up here, uh, just below 48, we see 353 contracts. Okay, and these areas are painted bright white. Okay, because they're the highest areas of liquidity. So it's a heat map in this live market window here. Okay, we also see high higher liquidity starting to come in here. Uh, around uh, uh, 71, 72, okay? All right, so uh, now we have that insight. Now where this gets interesting is this graphical representation uh, here in the heat map is recorded and projected onto the chart, all right? So look at these striations here uh, and the liquidity, okay? Now we can use this rollover tool and we, we can know exactly what occurred here, okay? We had 150, one contracts 149 then they pulled down to 135 uh, and then added back in back to 153 etc okay you can also hover over the volume dots and you get that information as well you get the date the time what was on the bid and the volume of that specific dot All right so for those that uh, like that uh, numeric uh, output we've got it all there for you all right so uh, now uh, with the heat map, though, we can understand these areas and the intent to trade in some of these areas. Okay, uh, they were here uh, showing some interest uh, as price is starting to come down. Okay, at 72 here, uh, and then uh, or 7, 73, 72, and then um, uh, and then they started to pull away. Okay, and now they're coming back in, showing again interest here. All right, so this is uh, interesting to uh, to watch. Uh, and uh, they want to be buyers, okay? So the intent to trade in this is, is not, the, uh, not the greatest example, but um, uh, we'd like to see, uh, you know, uh, levels, many levels of uh, liquidity here uh, that really shows the intent to trade. And then uh, market maker, uh, uh, what if they start to um, uh, show higher liquidity in front of some of these other areas here. Well, that, that's showing really bullish activity. They want to front run that high liquidity. They want to make sure that they get in. Uh, and uh, we're not seeing that right now, right? And look, they're actually pulling to lower levels right now. So this is kind of bearish uh, in a sense. And it's only one level of price, okay? So this is what we go over in the uh, advanced analysis um, and um, uh, start to understand uh, the intent to trade and putting it together with the transactions that have occurred in the tape as well, okay? The traded volume. And we put these two together uh, and we get a complete picture of that order flow, all right? Okay, where do we go here? Let's just take a look. I'm curious. Yeah, okay. So we just went above, uh, knocked out some of the stops up here, as you can see, uh, I was alluding to earlier. Uh, and then uh, we've kind of traded right back down into the range. Okay. All right, guys. Well, um, let's see. Uh, uh, market maker, if uh, you are interested in, uh, or any of you uh, interested in some of the um, uh, more advanced uh, 
let's see here. Uh, I'll give you guys a sneak peek on Friday uh, to the advanced webinar. Uh, else, um, you know, continue on here. Answer. Your, I'll answer your questions, uh, and then uh, we will. Um, uh, if if you want to give it a trial, a uh, free trial period, uh, then we, I can answer your questions also in the advanced analysis. All right. So uh, uh, up up to you. Uh, but uh, I just uh, want to keep it clean. Uh, I'm not going to go over uh, what I've just covered here and in the advanced analysis. We're gonna we're gonna look at a lot more stuff. Okay, and that's the intent of the two the two webinars. Okay, all right, guys, let's uh, let's call it a day, uh, and uh, we'll catch up with you tomorrow. Okay, bye bye.